The trial of the so-called canal killer continues. It's now in its fifth month. The verdict will be decided by a single person. The judge, 50-year-old Brian Patrick Miller, not denying that he did it. The bodies of two young women were discovered mutilated in the Arizona Canal not far from Metro Center in the early 1990s. The case went unsolved until DNA technology identified Brian Miller as a suspected killer nearly two decades earlier. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live with what his ex-wife is revealing. Very interesting stuff, Nicole. It is. It's shocking as well. Brian Patrick Miller's attorneys argue that he is not guilty by reason of insanity. But prosecutors say Miller knew exactly what he was doing when he kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and then killed his victims. Now, today, his ex wife took the stand and gave testimony about their relationship behind closed doors. And first, we want to warn you some of this testimony is very graphic and shocking. Brian Patrick Miller's ex-wife did not want her face shown as she revealed what it was like to be intimate with the accused serial killer. He would put the needles through my lips, typically through, well, his preference was the times he would put them through both lips in alternating fashion, basically sewing my mouth shut using the straight pins. Would the pins go completely through your bottom and top lips? Yes. Would you be bound when this was happening? Usually, yes. A psychologist for the defense testified Miller has dissociative disorder among several other mental illnesses and suffered an abusive childhood. A psychologist for the prosecution, however, diagnosed Miller as a sexual sadist who takes pleasure in inflicting pain. Letters that Miller had written to his ex-wife were read aloud in court. And it reads, I told you I enjoyed it when I cut you and sucked on the wound. This is true. That was something extremely intimate. I want us to start to bring it to the edge of danger, bring it close to being the most intimate it could be. The couple had a daughter together before they eventually divorced. The victims, 22-year-old Angela Brasso and 17-year-old Melanie Burness, were both riding their bikes along the Arizona Canal when they disappeared in the 1990s. Their bodies later found mutilated and decapitated. The trial is expected to wrap up sometime uh, toward the end of next month. If he's convicted, Miller faces the death penalty. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.